new movies that come out in the weekend. Try and see them before the Sunday's over. I don't care what the movie is. I just try and see them all, get the reviews out of time. But instead of going to the movies on Sunday night, I saw Depeche Mode. I'm so sorry, but it was such an amazing concert. I love that band so much. my favorite songs and instead of going to review this movie I saw the, the, the band play live instead <laughs> so here's my review of Battle of the Year which I saw on Monday yes Battle of the Year was a trailer was a film that I saw the trailer uh, over a year ago I remember in the fall of 2012 I saw the trailer to this movie and I think it was supposed to come out late last year or early this year but instead now it is officially out in theaters in September and I doubt really anybody cares what I thought about this movie I doubt anybody really uh, who watches my reviews on a regular basis really want to see this movie at all but I did witness it I did finally see it I didn't go see it on the weekend because I had better things to do and I saw it today. It is a dance movie that is actually based on a documentary that is actually directed by the same guy who directed the documentary and he also directed this feature. The film stars Josh Holloway from Lost, who played Sawyer on Lost, a really cool actor that I really would like to see more in theaters, more on the screen, and more doing just something. I don't know if he's working in television right now, but I, I like his presence on screen. Uh, the film also stars Josh Peck, I believe his name is, who is in The Wackness and last year's Red Dawn. He's just not an actor that I, I really, really don't I, don't, I don't, I don't, he might be a nice guy in person, but as an actor, he acts, he almost acts through his nose. And then this film has Chris Brown, as we all know, loves to beat up women. Uh, yeah, this movie, uh, didn't have any appeal to me other than the dancing looked cool, it was in 3D, and I like Josh Holloway. But I didn't see this movie in 3D, so I was just going in for the dancing and Josh Holloway and hopefully be surprised by the plot. I mean, I was hoping. I knew it looked, from the trailer, it looked like it was going to follow that standard sports competition movie that we've seen a billion times. But sometimes it can be fun and enjoyable, even if the plot is ridiculous or full of cliches. Well... From the get-go, this movie felt like a documentary. It felt like something that uh, was a documentary. And then while watching the movie, I was... I, you know, during the credits, they were saying that it was based on that documentary, Planet B-Boy. And I felt like I would rather be watching the documentary of this film than actually watching this movie. It was not a good movie at all. The performances in this film are pretty bland. Even Josh Holloway, who gives a good performance... But he's just playing Sawyer, and he's a basketball coach, a former basketball coach who's now bringing this team together so they can go to France and battle it out hip-hop style with this really great dancing. And I have to say the dancing in this film is pretty incredible. It is pretty exciting, but it doesn't really help when the story is terrible, the script is awful. I was so insulted by the product placement that was in this movie there's a lot of product placement this is a sony movie so there was even a point where josh peck told about hey look i just got the new tablet from sony and it's very subtle but at the same time it's, it's like here look at this and then there's some other stuff where they get prizes and it's all sony stuff and i was just you know i mean it's not jack and jill bad where it's right all in your face all the time but it was just annoying to see that and the film does follow the standard sports drama, you know, all these different kind of cliches that are happening. I'd be really interested to see someone who's better at analyzing a movie and is better at making fun of a movie, because I think a, a critic that uh, is better at doing that, I would love to see their review of this movie. I think they would add so much humor, because this movie is really standard. And near the end, when you're getting all these great dances, and there's a little twist at the end of the film. I just stopped caring. I didn't even care that there were some really cool dances and all these talented people. I was thinking, hey, 
I would really just rather watch that documentary. I don't know if it's on Netflix, but if it is, I might go check it out. It's called Planet B-Boy again, as I said before. But this movie is a complete waste of time and one of the worst movies of the year, sadly. I really hope Josh Holloway can find some better material. I think he's a good actor. I really like him, and I would love to see him perform in better stuff. And uh, my favorite scene in the movie is actually, I think, when Chris Brown hurts himself, and I was just happy about that for some reason. So I'm going to give Battle of the Year, not in 3D, one star. I'm Movie Man Chad. Thanks for so much for watching and enjoying my review. I'm on Twitter and I'm on Facebook. And please check me out there. Like me and everything if you like. Subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And please go to WeLiveFilm.com and subscribe right here on YouTube to We Live Film. And if you love to go to the movies and see dance movies that are hopefully better than this, I highly recommend you check out MoviePass.com. Thank you again for watching and have a wonderful day.